Hello friend, this is Marshall with Zan Two Cent. Today I will bring you a review of a fragrance that's in my personal collection. And actually this fragrance here I've been loving. It's been one of my favorite go-to fragrances to go, uh, pick up and grab for the summer. I've uh, been really enjoying this fragrance. been having a lot of fun with this fragrance here. I'm really excited to give it to you, uh, the review about this here. So this uh, review is for you individuals who can't physically put their nose to this fragrance or a fragrance. And uh, would like to have a good description or idea of what this fragrance actually smells like. So uh, my goal today is to provide you with that description. and hope that it justifies if you've been borderline by getting this fragrance or not and if you can decide if this fragrance is for me or it's not for me so click like and subscribe to the channel below as i can will be continuing bringing you creative content and let's get straight to the review so friends the fragrance i've been referring to which i've been about to get into with the review about which i've really been enjoying this summer uh been having lots of fun with this fragrance i must say it is none other than house of rock from the house of nishane uh it's been a joy. So the fragrance, what it actually came into, what it came in, uh, is, this is the outer box. It just says the name at the top. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this says the name right here in the middle, and also has the concentration at the bottom. It is a Strat D Parfum concentration. Uh, it is a higher concentration than uh, ED Parfum. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, but you definitely will be able to tell from that in the performance and the projection, which I'll be getting to here shortly. Uh, this is the inner box which came into uh, this is actually where the fragrance is housed as you see right here this just has this little box nothing fancy but hey this is what it came into and then also you have the uh, once a postcard more so that came with the box also and this half here um, you see the little dude here and at the bottom you can see the notes that it actually came into the top actually came in the fragrance top middle and base notes uh in this fragrance here so let's get into the notes uh the top notes you do have bergamot pineapple and grapefruit so it is very juicy from the opening uh definitely with the prominent of the pineapple and the bergamot so you have a just juicy centrist type of uh, nuisance going on with the fragrance and then the grapefruit actually contributes more so to the central side of things uh, in the opening so but the opening is very lovely uh, very nice and then since it's extract you perform you know some some uh, fragrance you smell you get the alcohol I mean you don't get that with here uh, it's, you, you can tell it's made what the concentration is very highly concentrated it's very quality products and then we get in the middle notes which we have patchouli uh, cedar wood and then we also have jasmine. Uh, the jasmine with the floral notes, very subtle in it though. But I think it does a good job of actually helping balancing the, uh, the, the centuries and fruits, uh, juiciness of it with the uh, the wood and the uh, oak moss notes within this fragrance. And then you had a patchouli now also. Uh, the, you know, patchouli is in here, is, it is adds more sort of the earthiness of the fragrance. Um, but it's not like a dirty earthiness. Now, as you know, patchouli can be like, dirty earthly patchouli or can more lead towards the uh, uh the gourmet side of things maybe like chocolate type of ordeal but this is more like it's to me like a clean patchouli in here and then the cedar wood the cedar wood is not griping uh, as you know cedar wood can be griping sometimes um, but this one is very smooth it's uh, well rounded in this fragrance here but you do definitely pick it up and then in the as it transitioned into the drawdown, which I really love, you had the oak moss, you have the clear wood, and then you have uh, dry timber wood. And the wood seed uh, facets of this uh, fragrance uh, is lovable. Uh, the oak moss is very heavy oak moss in this fragrance, and uh, to me, it definitely gives it, it backbone. But the oak moss in here is not uh, dirty earthly, as I speak before. As you know, you think about oak moss, you think like dirty earth. The type of vibe but it is a little earthly um, but it's it's pleasant I must say it's a pleasant scent it's a pleasant drawdown in its fragrance uh, but I know this fragrance is listed as unisex uh, but with the heaviness of the oak moss it leans more towards the masculine side of things and to me you know for you individuals that want to show a little masculinity you know this fragrance is uh can do just that for you <laughs> honestly and so, but uh, getting into the projection, uh, it definitely leave a good projection. Uh, you get a nice scent bubble uh, with this uh, fragrance here because of the concentration that it actually has. 
man, you get a simple, I know I get a simple bubble longer than my arm length. Uh, that's you no, know, so a good three, four feet of a simple bubble for you with this fragrance, and it's gonna be there for a good while, also. And the performance, I mean, I get 10 to 12 hours easily with this fragrance on my skin, and um. If I get it on my clothes, the next day is definitely, the scent is definitely there. So, the performance on here is amazing. Uh, the projection on here is also amazing. And the sea loss, you don't leave a nice scent trail. Uh, they will smell you around the corner with this, <laughs> honestly. Uh, so, if you pass on someone, you def they definitely get in a whiff of you with this fragrance here. It's not, it's a very, uh, it's not a shy fragrance, I'm sort of say. It's a bold in your face type of fragrance it's not a shy five year old hate hiding behind their mother type of fragrance it's very present it speaks presence to me with this fragrance it speaks boldness it speaks confidence it speaks presence like i'm here and that's what this fragrance actually does uh kind of loud uh i mean that's why i say be easy with the trigger because uh, since the concentration that it is man it can be very nuclear and they definitely have beast mode performance. So, yeah, this is this is a word to the wise. You no, know, you no, know, be easy with the trigger with this particular fragrance here if you have it. Uh, compliment getter. Definitely compliment. I mean, what I say is a panty dropper. I would say it's a panty dropper. Honestly, I would say that. You know, uh, if you don't get the panties the first time, you know, maybe you get it the next time you wear this fragrance. You know, I'm say that much. But, but besides the joking and all that, it is a compliment getter. Uh, I have got tons of compliments from both genders, male and female. Uh, I have male ask me, uh, a couple of males, or just a couple of people, just people in general ask me, hey, what is that that you're wearing? It smells very good. It smells nice. And yeah, and I don't, I'm transcendent. I mean, transparent about it. I don't really hide about what I'm wearing. You know, I'm not the type of, I don't want to be smelling like anybody else type of, man, hey, man. You like how I smell? You like the smell of body fragrance? You know what I'm saying? I think that uh, everybody on the earth smelling good. It's, hey, it's a wonderful place to be in, right? But yeah, just like to say it's an amazing scent. It's a wonderful scent. I like smelling amazing. I hope you like smelling amazing. And I've been having fun with this fragrance, honestly. So overall, you know, this scent is a juicy opening uh, with the with the pineapple. And it gets into a little earthiness with a subtle floral notes. And then you have the woodsy and the oak moss coming in as the backbone, baby. And, yeah, it does a wonderful job. Honestly, it does a wonderful job. People actually like this fragrance. So, but that's all I have um, dealing with this fragrance here as far as the review. Um, yeah. Yep. So, there you go. That's what I thought about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope it did you some good, some justice. Uh, if you've been borderline by getting this fragrance or not. Uh, definitely comment down below if you like this fragrance. Uh, this review. Comment down below if you like this fragrance review. And comment down below if you had this fragrance. Uh, I'd like to hear from you what you thought about it. What your comments on it. You know, uh, you know tell me um, you know, experiences that you might acquire while wearing this fragrance. And uh, definitely uh, check out my, my blog page at www.com www.zayan2cent.com I uh, also did a review on this fragrance on there also for any visitors who don't like the video content maybe you more to the uh, the written content um, so maybe this or maybe like both I don't know but if you happen to check out the site tell me what you think that think about it down below or on the site I'd like to hear from you as always I'd like to provide more creative content as I can uh, to help you all individuals uh, go through this fragrance world, fragrance community, fragrance community, you know, it's smelling good. I mean, who doesn't like to smell good, you know? It's a good feeling, you know what I mean? But anyway, until next time, love, peace, and wealth as always. Marshall with Zayn, two cent out. Peace.